Good morning, folks. You're looking at the sun in 171 angstroms. Bright loops arching up over the northeastern limb into view could herald the return of sunspots. The march towards cycle minimum tempers that excitement. However, in the earth-facing quiet effect still strongly in our minds means we might not expect to see any fireworks, even if we get sunspots. So we come to spaceweathernews.com, peek in on the last 24 hours of the earth-facing half, big dark coronal hole incoming, Thinner dark line turning away on the north was a plasma filament that never really showed any signs of erupting. No sunspots means no solar flares, so we come to the solar wind. Stream density is stable in orange. Plasma speed and temperature are both down from that brief uptick in intensity, purple and green. Earth's magnetic field is calm, and folks, our 24-hour KP average is 0.5. So the very next update determines if we begin cosmic ray health alerts or not. The little blip overnight is all that's kept them away so far. Well, folks, the lithosphere has begun to rumble, and we like it when it begins with four pointers that are more rare than six pointers around the Ring of Fire, and they're nowhere near they can hurt people. We also have a volcano going on major alert in Nicaragua with gas emissions and seismicity on the rise across the central East Pacific coastlines. Of course, as I speak, the coronal hole is just now beginning to hit central heliographic longitudes and will be facing Earth through the weekend. We have been talking about this peak and earthquake watch all week. It's finally here today and tomorrow. Eyes open for significant events. Top news today begins at Hubble. A runaway star system once got too close for comfort and they say multiple stars were actually ejected from the system. They show where they think they came from and how much movement across the sky it's made in just 17 years. Quite a bit. Up next, official global climate numbers are out for last month. As always, even though there are no sensors here and they don't really have any real idea what it was like 24-7, they ditched the cold blue readings and have turned them red because that's just what they do. The rest of it actually looks fairly accurate. It was very hot in the United States before this early March cold wave, and the Middle East indeed saw one of their worst winters in the history of weather records. NOAA has our next three months forecast out for the U.S. This comes courtesy of the Weather Channel. Pretty much a standard spring, but if only they could do a first and second half of the month forecast, you'd be expecting a much wilder ride back and forth. Let's just call that the observer's forecast addendum. Lastly, folks, as of 4 a.m. Mountain Time, this was your Blot Echo wind map from QuakeWatch.net. We've got subterranean signals across the eastern world and over in South America as well, but we also just had a relatively deep one in Alaska, and we've got two strong earth spots dancing in the corners of the sea. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. It is Saturday, so you've got an hour of podcast discussion coming up soon. Right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecasts, a global run up through the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.